Hello, welcome to Flint Fire Server. My name is Thomas, and uh, it's New Year's Day today, guys. It's the 1st of January 2013, and I thought I'd give you a quick review of one of my pieces of kit that I use quite regularly, and uh, it is the Behringer Xenix 1202 Mixer, which is pictured in the photo to my left. Just had to think about that. So, we're going to do a review of that now, and it's the 1st of January, so Happy New Year. Hope you, your New, new Year's going to go all right. So, hope you enjoy and here it is okay guys um, this is the Behringer Xenix 1202 mixer as it says just there so basically what this is it is an audio interface and it has 12 inputs, 2 bus mixer and a mic preamps um, and actually it's lying it doesn't have 12 inputs realistically it only has 8 but uh, you could argue against that and uh, as you can see, it has um, like um, levels, controls that aren't faders like the main mix, and uh, you have CD tape and effects send. You also have a four XLR inputs, but you can put quarter inch if you want for guitars and stuff like that. And individual gain control. We move on to the three band EQ, which control um, high, mid, and low. You then also have the effects end and the balance control which goes, the effects end goes to there and then out through there which has gone out of focus. Whoops. Um, that's the effects end and then basically you can have um, as many inputs as you like uh, as long as there are enough to go around. And if you have a microphone that needs phantom power, it is catered here at Behringer and it has a 48 volt light just there of which will come on when you press that phantom power button and then we'll power the power your microphone you then also have um, CD tape to control and CD tape to mix which is great so you can PFL it before it goes out live and that is the mixer itself and then we move on to pretty much the inputs of what you can put that's an XLR input and that will go in to it's got a three pin and that will go into the big black ones back there which can cater for microphones and that's about it and then it goes in and then when you want to you can press the phantom power button and uh, turn it on which is great so that's the microphone and then you also have RCA inputs for CD tape in and CD tape out and you also have quarter inch which go in there which are left and right stereo inputs um, which you can put mono by just putting the left one in but uh, I wouldn't recommend it and then also finally we have the main mix fader which is very nice and smooth and I would have preferred it if the actual mixer had individual ones for each channel but it's just not simply not high end enough um, so you have to put up with the individual fader knobs which uh, can be a little bit clunky sometimes. You also have the pan control from left to right which is great for the uh, microphone inputs and then you also have the FX send level knob and then the three band EQ which go high, mid and low and then you also have the low cut button which can cut out the uh, low bandwidths. So that's basically the mixer. It retails for a price of $69.95 as I will probably say later. Um, there's a few pros and cons of this, the mixer, the fader is great and the con of having individual knobs for the level control which means that you not haven't got most like control over how loud it is. Um, another con is that there's only four mic inputs and if you want more you have to pay a lot more which is not good, definitely not good. Also there's the, that can be the headphone control and also it goes like, when you turn that it has a little <laughs> you get this kind of feedback noise which is not good, um, definitely not good. Hello and welcome back, that was my review of the Behringer Xenix 1202 mixer and as I said it retails for a price of 69.95 I think I said that and um, so I hope you enjoyed that if you did then and you want more reviews of technology then why not subscribe it's just one little click and there you go you're subscribed and then you'll get like updates of all my videos that um, go up over the next year or so so as I said happy new year 
hope your new year is prosperous and very nice not a very good ad adjective nice so thanks for watching uh, and I've been trying to do green screening hasn't really worked out very well so I'll try to figure it out for you guys so you can see me green screening so thanks for watching and I'll see you soon